What's up creators, I hope you're doing well. Today's video is gonna be a bit different to the usual content. We're gonna look at 10 amazing must have photography accessories under 100 bucks. Now this video comes as a result as a couple of days ago, it was my birthday and a friend of mine approached me and asked me, dude, what can we give you as a birthday gift in the photography world? So this video is gonna be sort of a list, a gift guide. If you have a friend or maybe your partner is a photographer or filmmaker or content creator and you don't know what to give them. Now, maybe you are a photographer and you know that in these days we're gonna have all the Black Friday discounts, all the Christmas discounts. So this is a great way to look at some things that you may need in your arsenal as well. So the list is not gonna be in any specific order and I've already tested all of these gear. So if you wanna check them out, link in the description and also in the pinned comment down below. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first one on my list is the Amaran MC, a pocket light. The one actually that we have over here and it costs 90 bucks. Now, the Amaran MC is a very compact, very durable, I was surprised by the build quality of this thing, pocket light that you can use in maybe practical lights or maybe to light a subject or anything like that on field. And I was very surprised of the quality, particularly because I've tested out several of these types of LEDs. For example, that one over here is a Freewell. I've tested out from Sandmark, and this one is the best one yet. It has very strong magnets at the back. It has this diffusion box at the front, and you can basically change the intensity of the brightness, the saturation, the hue, the white balance, or even use it to create practical effects. Maybe if you're in filmmaking and you're shooting a specific scene, then you need some cop lights or something like that. So it's a very nice, uh, pocket light and I'm very happy with this purchase. Also the battery life is quite good as well. Let me put it back. The next on my list is something that I'm using right now to record this video, which is my tripod KNF Concept 90 inch or 230 centimeter tripod for a hundred bucks. Now I know that tripods isn't the most engaging or the most fun thing to buy because well, it's a tripod, it's boring, but we all need one and maybe your friend or yourself need another one. This one is quite cheap for the quality that it has. It's made of aluminum, very solid. All the junctions are perfect, well damped and very strong. You can raise it up up to 230 centimeters, which as you can see in these images, it's ginormous. I'm not a very tall person, but still it's bigger than myself. Also, you can change the axis where the camera is set and you can change it up to 90 degrees for some top down shots or maybe some unboxings or anything like that. So it's a very complete tripod and it's quite sturdy if you have a light setup. Maybe if you have a Canon R1 or something heavier like that, maybe a sports camera, maybe it isn't the best tripod, but anything from, for example, I have the a7 IV right now with 35 millimeter 1.4 and it works perfectly. I'm very happy with this purchase. Next on my list, I have the Tiffin Black Pro Mist of a one quarter of intensity. This is a diffusion filter and this is the most renowned one, the one that everyone knows. And in the past, I've used so many diffusion filters. For example, right here, I have a one eighth of intensity from Freewell. Over here, I have the Mist Edition from Polar Pro and Peter McKinnon. And on camera, actually right now, I have my one quarter of intensity snow mist from the Freewell K2. So if you don't know what a snow mist does or a diffusion filter, what it does is diffract the light. So we have blooming highlights and we have a little bit of loss of contrast and sharpness. For example, let me just point my light towards the camera and notice how this halation or this glowing effect appears around the lights. What happens if I take away the filter? It's much more subtle and normal. Now let's apply it again. And you can see the big difference in terms of sharpness, contrast, and this blooming effect or mist effect that appears in bright objects. So this is what the diffusion filter does and it's great for photography and also for video work. So if you wanna purchase anything cheaper, you can find the KNF Concept, for example, the Kobe ones, but I would suggest to get the Tiffin, which is the best one for just a hundred bucks right now on Amazon. The next one is a very simple object, but I'm very happy with this purchase, is this tech pouch from Wonder. This is the medium size and it costs around 50 bucks. Now, I love this one because it's water resistant, it has great quality zippers and all the materials, and allows me to just maintain an order with all my accessories, my batteries, my cables, anything goes in here so it's not wobbling around inside my camera bag. Now, talking about camera bag, it has these clips that allows it to be hooked in the outside of the bag or inside, or you can even use it just to attach a strap so you can carry it around in front of you. Also in the inside, this is the medium size. You can get it in different sizes, large, medium, or small. You have three dividers that allows us to just store all our stuff and organize it properly. I'm really happy with this purchase. Next up, I have this belt to punish. No, I'm just kidding guys. This is the Peak Design Slide camera strap, and this is absolute 
quality. I'm a Sony shooter, so the straps that come with the Sony cameras are very small and quite rough and they end up irritating the back of my neck. This one is big, soft, and it can move around with one side. In the other side, you have some rubber so you can stick your camera and it doesn't move around. This is just a great strap. And the best thing about it is not just the build quality, but the anchor system from Peak Design. So in my camera, I have these anchors and I can attach and detach from the camera strap in a matter of seconds. And I even can change the same strap into the other camera that also has anchor. So this is a great, great strap. I highly recommend this one in particular. Staying with Peak Design, the next item on my list is the Capture Clip for 75 bucks. This thing is a game changer for any traveler, any running gun shooter for photo or for video. This thing will allow us to protect our gear. Sometimes you're running around, maybe in the airport, and your camera is bouncing around through your body, just getting damaged. This is a great way to fasten it into your body. Some people apply the clip into their belt, so it's the camera is in their waist. I like to use it in my backpack strap going over my shoulder over here. And then it comes around with this mount that goes into the tripod mount of your camera and allows your camera to slot into place, very secure, pushed against your body and also protected. This is a great way to protect your gear, particularly any light uh, setup that you have. So great gift and a great purchase as well. Next on the list, we're going down on the price, but this is an essential that a lot of photographers forget to buy. So we have 35 bucks for the Altura Photo Professional Camera Cleaning Kit. And over here we have the items, the brushes, the rocket blower to uh, just clean the outside. But the most important thing about here is these sensor cleaning swaps that we have over here. This is the correct way to clean your sensor. You're not gonna use any cloth, anything that may scratch the surface of your sensor or even worse, use your finger. So this is a great, correct way to do it. And it's a great thing to have in your arsenal. Next on the list, we have this very small and very compact, but very handy Rode Video Micro. Now, this is a great mic. It's small, compact. It has a nice quality and you don't need extra batteries or extra switches to turn it on. You select record on your camera and this thing starts working immediately. Now, this one is the original one. You can find it for 70 bucks or you can go ahead and purchase the V2, which is 72 bucks. And another alternative that I've been looking into is the DAT Duo. Now, this one is basically the same, 42 bucks, but you have a second microphone. So it records towards you and also towards your subject. So this is a great mic for any vloggers out there. The next item on my list goes above the 100 mark. This is 150 bucks for the Freewell M2 Magnetic Filter pack now this one is a bit more expensive but it's worth every penny we have all the filters that we're going to need starting out so we have very low MD filters we have CPLs and we have UV filters all in a single pack for the same price all these filters as one of these this is the Polar Pro from Peter McKinnon and you could get one of these or you can get all the filters that you need in a single pack so I highly recommend these ones I have the original ones not the Mark II so this is the original pack and it comes in this very nice leather pouch over here so if you're starting out this is a great purchase for any photographer or videographer or content creator and even if you're giving this to maybe a photographer that already has filters there's nothing worse than having several lenses but a single filter set and you need to screw on or screw off the filter into every single lens every single time you want to use them so filters you can always have more so that was number 10 but i have an extra one for you guys this is a lens that i'm actually considering purchasing a vintage lens the helios 44 2 58 mil f2 soviet union lens so this lens is capable of shooting in full frame and it goes from 100 bucks to 180 depending on the seller but this is a great lens and it's very popular right now it's a trending topic because it creates a very beautiful image great lens flares and out of focus elements similar to anamorphic lenses in just a cheaper package. So this is a great lens. There's nothing better to purchase than a vintage lens and play around and also to give as a gift, a vintage lens is something special. So feel free to put down in the comment section if you enjoy these types of videos talking about gear. I know I'm just testing some things out just to mix it up, but maybe you guys like it, maybe you don't, just let me know down below. That's it for today guys. I'm Tony Fuentes, just to all of you and I'll see you in the next one.